If you're in your 20s right now, you have a huge opportunity to get ahead from 95% of people. Most people in their 20s are actually spending their time partying, doing drugs, and really just not doing productive things. And so if you're actually in your 20s right now, you have a chance to really get ahead. And so if you're in your 20s, this is really a time to actually learn. Alex Ramosi says that you have a season in life in which you could be either earning or learning. And so I really think that you should spend this time actually testing different things out. So. In your 20s, you're basically in the very early stages, right? You grew up, you were a kid, basically learning how to live, and now you're in a phase of your life in which you're trying to learn how to adult, basically. And you really don't have to try to jump ahead, okay? A lot of people in their 20s also think that they're behind if they're not a millionaire by 22, right? But if you think about it, most millionaires are actually becoming millionaires in their 40s on average. And so these people are also starting their businesses usually in their 40s. So the advantage in this case is that they do have money to actually put into their business, invest, and maybe take actions faster, but they only have so much experience, right? Yes, they have workforce experience, but they don't necessarily have a business experience. So if you're in your 20s, you could actually spend this time testing out different businesses so that by the time you're 40, you're gonna have 20 years advantage on these same people. So that's why in your 20s, you should be spending this time actually as a season of learning. So you shouldn't be focusing so much on the money aspect itself. Money will come. Instead, you should actually focus on different activities that would allow you to grow at the fastest rate possible. So the thing I would recommend is probably working with someone that has some kind of experience, that has some kind of traction that you can then grab from. So whenever I was starting out, I was in college, I was testing out different businesses, and so I actually had a moving business, which was actually pretty fun. I was able to hire different buddies of mine, and we would basically move different furniture pieces around town. And so we were in a college town, and so we'd be moving couches or dressers or things like this, just usually one or two pieces of furniture. Sometimes we'd get a whole house move, which would be a great, great project for us. But we're just doing small jobs, and I was able to pay myself 40 bucks an hour as the owner of the business. And then I was hiring my buddies, and they were working and making 20 bucks an hour, which is way more than the minimum wage, which at the time was like 750. And so they were able to make a lot of money. I was working and making good money, and we're only working a couple hours a week, but it was enough to basically pay for food and, and living, so that was fine. But when it came time to actually growing to the next phase, this is where I still lacked a lot of skills. So I was able to learn a lot when I ran that business. I think that being in the weeds, there's really no better way to learn and especially grow really fast. But in that phase, I was able to really learn a lot about actually, I guess, working with clients right because you really do have a special relationship with these people in which they're paying you for value so you have to be very respectful and you have to try to really make this the best experience possible for them so i was able to learn a lot on the client relationship side of things however i didn't really have so much on the marketing aspect i was actually marketing directly through craigslist believe it or not and i was getting really great results i mean we were working not nearly close to full time, but I was making plenty of money to where I could basically pick and choose which jobs I wanted to work, which is awesome. So that was a huge advantage there, but I knew that it wasn't very scalable, okay? Because I was trading hours or money for time, which was really not my end goal. I wanted to create some kind of leverage. I wanted to become the owner of the business and have employees that are working for me. And so I did try to potentially delegate some of the projects and outsource some of the work. But then I outsourced one of the, the jobs basically to someone else and they took the job and didn't pay me my cut. So that was basically it for that. And I didn't want to be a mover because I was actually kind of messing up my back and everything. It wasn't definitely like a long-term thing I wanted to do. So instead, I wanted to move towards online projects. So at that point, I was wanting to start some kind of online business because for one, I had the location freedom. Moving, I'm definitely locked in a location. I was in Tallahassee, Florida. I was going to FSU. And so once I graduated, I didn't want to still be stuck in Tallahassee. Great time, it's great for college, but it's really not that great for business growth and development. So I was trying to basically get out there as soon as possible. And 
I was stuck if I was in that moving business. So I didn't have any location freedom. I didn't have financial freedom because although I was paying myself what felt like good money at a college age, I wasn't gonna ever become a millionaire by doing moving jobs, that's for sure. So that's why I did not have the financial freedom aspect as well. And I definitely didn't have time freedom either because I was having to trade hours for money. So I didn't have any three of the freedoms that I really was striving for. So I knew I had to create some kind of online business that allowed me to do that. But once I started trying to delegate the work, right, so that I could have some kind of freedom in that aspect, I didn't really have the skills to be able to create some kind of model. When I was trying to potentially think about different types of businesses, I was basically trying e-commerce, I tried affiliate marketing and different things, but I just knew that I was going really slow. I was really making that much progress and I started listening to a lot of self-development videos and I figured out that this needed to be a season of learning for me. So that's why I really went back and I tried to kind of put my ego aside and try to find an opportunity that would allow me to not only learn a lot, but also get paid to learn, which I think is a great value right there. So what I did instead is that I actually found an opportunity to work with the company that wanted to hire someone for their business development. So it would involve hiring a team, working on different marketing campaigns, and basically just helping them grow their business. So it was a French fitness company, involves fitness, I love working out, and they had a lot of different aspects of growing a business without necessarily me doing all the work or having to put my money on the line. So I was able to learn a lot by potentially taking on this role, and so I did that. So I joined the team, I learned a lot about hiring, about managing, I did a lot of interviews, so that already was a great skill that I acquired. And then I also learned a lot about basically just trying to market as well because we were basically launching different franchises and the franchises themselves had to run different ads and everything. And so I was able to learn a lot about marketing. But basically, the phase of life that I was in, I knew that I potentially wouldn't be making a crazy amount of money. At that time, I was probably 23 years old. And I knew that I couldn't just jump to the final step, which would have been my having my own business, making a lot of money and all that. I needed to step back and find an opportunity for me to grow. So this is my season of learning. So I actually took the job, put my ego aside, and then I was able to basically grow so much faster. So I spent two years in that position, and through that time, I was able to make some decent money, and I was acquiring all these different skills. So then, once I had a little bit of money aside, I started to actually hire different coaches and mentors to allow me to learn other skills that I would then be able to leverage into my own business. But basically, if you're in your 20s right now, don't hesitate to take a step back sometimes to allow yourself to go further. A lot of people, they try to skip to the final step of actually just trying to launch the big business, and then they compare themselves to the 0.01% of entrepreneurs that somehow make it, right? I mean, everyone's built different, everyone has different backgrounds, different opportunities. Some people do strike, strike it big really fast, which is incredible, but the vast majority of people don't, to be honest. So really don't hold yourself down if you didn't have that crazy big explosion right off the bat. If you're lacking something right now, if you're not making that money, you're probably lacking some kind of skill. And so in your 20s, try to figure out exactly what you could do to accelerate your growth as fast as possible so you can take advantage of this time to then have the rest of your life to take advantage and make a bunch of money and create that kind of freedom. So whenever you're in your 20s, try to limit as much as possible the partying, the drinking, the drugs, all the vices and everything because that's really gonna hold you back and you're basically having that opportunity cost wasted in which you could be spending all this time learning instead of actually growing. And so it's still a time to take advantage, right? I mean, I like to have fun as, as well. I still sometimes go out very rarely. I do like to travel and so I still find ways to enjoy life, right? And I, I really do enjoy business anyway, so this is actually a really fun process for me. But try to really limit the vices as much as possible because I promise if you spend the next 10 years really investing in yourself, sacrificing, and doing things that others won't do, eventually you'll be able to do things that others can't do. 
So spend this time actually growing, learning as much as you can. There are certain skills that you're lacking right now and that's what's holding down your income at the moment. So try to find different ways of kind of stepping out of the weeds of your business or stepping out of whatever you're working on right now and try to get a third person view of exactly what's currently holding you down. Potentially try to work with mentors or coaches that will actually have that outside perspective as well to allow you to potentially test different things out and also have different opinions on whatever you're, you're lacking. And then as you're growing your business, as you're doing all this, also start to produce a lot of content, okay? A lot of people, they try to wait until they've actually blown up before they start producing content because they feel maybe a little ashamed that they're not actually there just yet. Don't worry about that. A lot of people are going to resonate with your journey. They're gonna be able to grow with you and you're gonna create this badass brand that people are gonna be able to look back and really fall in love with. But that's the message I wanted to leave with you today. Try to, again, spend your 20s to basically get ahead of the curve, take advantage of this time so that you can basically outbeat every single person. I promise you, if you're watching this video right now, you probably are already in the minority as far as thinking goes. And so now you just have to pair that with action, try to limit devices as much as possible, get out there and crush it. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.